All right, so we got some official dyno numbers for the C8 Z06, and they are really impressive. Now, I'm sure you've probably heard of Speed Phenom. He's a big YouTuber, and he has been one of the first to take delivery of his own C8 Z06. In doing so, he drove it all the way to Dallas, Texas, put over 700 miles on it so that we can get past that 500-mile braking period that we all know is going to restrict the performance of the car a little bit. Got it broken in all nice, threw it on the chassis dyno down there in Dallas, Texas at a place called Dallas Performance. Now they specialize in a lot of Lamborghini, Audis, things like that. So they're no strangers to high horsepower cars. Now we all know the factory rates the C8 Z06 at 670 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. Now at the tires, that's gonna be a totally different ball game. Most cars average about 10 to 15% drivetrain loss. This one was a bit different. Now, they made three runs. The first one was about 596 horsepower, which in itself is really impressive. Second run, they came in at 599 horsepower, real close to that 600 wheel mark. But of course, being that close, we're gonna do everything we can to try and break that 600 barrier. So they gave it a little more time to cool down, added an extra fan, and gave it the last run, and it put down 610 horsepower, 419 pound-feet of torque at the tires. Now that is mind-blowing because I didn't expect it to be anywhere near that. Honestly, I thought that the 596 was going to be the peak number. I didn't think they were going to get past that first run. And to get up to 610 is far more than I expected. That's technically, I think, only a 9% drivetrain loss. So either we're not losing much power throughout the drivetrain or Chevy kind of underrated the C8 Z06. And maybe it's putting out about 680, 685 horsepower. 610 to tires, that's really good. Now, they were talking about um, comparing it to other cars like a Lamborghini Huracan, and the shop owner said that a Huracan in stock form is only putting out a little more than 500 at the tires. So that is a significant difference. we got a V10 Huracan that can't compete with a flat plane crank V8 that now the Corvette is pushing. So... I'm impressed. I don't know about you. The C8 Z06 is going to be a pretty impressive car. Now, I feel like I got to mention those were SAE numbers, not standard or anything like that. It was on a dyno jet, not a Mustang dyno. 610 horsepower, 419 pound feet of torque. Now, I think they said 8,400 RPMs was the max run on the last one. I think the other ones, they were running to like 8,300. But last run, I believe they said they hit 8,400 RPMs. And that's, uh, I think that did it. That gave him that extra little push over that 600 mark. Now, that also was with the carbon fiber wheels. Now, you know that there's going to be less weight and less drag because of those wheels. So, how much more power will you be losing if you didn't have the carbon fiber wheel option? But I don't think you're going to lose an astonishing amount. Maybe, what, three horsepower? I'm not great with math and wheels and all that stuff. So I'm going to guess maybe three to five horsepower. If you have any experience in this area, leave your comments down below what you think that weight difference would make on a dyno. Um, I'm just spitting out guesses at this point because I don't have any clue. Now, I want to be completely honest with you guys. I'm super excited about this new engine being a flat plane crank and the high RPMs. But I'm also a little bit worried about longevity and reliability. Flat plane cranks can be finicky and we've seen what can happen with the Shelby GT350. The early models had some issues. They fixed that as time went on, but flat plane cranks are notorious for not being the most reliable engine. They can be the most fun engine, but reliability can be an issue. So I want to see over the next two years, we'll say, how do these engines hold up? I have high hopes. Again, I have my fingers crossed. I want this to work really badly. And I know the C8 has been plagued with tons of issues ever since its launch. And I'm hoping that doesn't trickle down to the Z06 model. So let me know what your thoughts are down below. Well, the dyno numbers for the C8 Z06. 
If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't already. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you in the next upload.